Hello everyone, Drudraksh here and today I have got an interesting information regarding Windows 7 installation and would like to share with you guys. The Windows 7 disk that you have got are addition specific. If you have a valid license key, you will still need the right version or disk for fresh installation. The EI.CFG removal tool allows you to create a universal ISCO disk image by deleting some files from the setup. Well, if your disk say home premium edition or maybe ultimate or maybe professional or any else, uh, it still contains the other versions of Windows 7. There is a very small file that instructs the setup which version to install after verifying your key. This removal tool will make the disk universal and allow you to choose different versions of Windows 7 in just one ISO image file. So no need to borrow the disk image again and again if you have lost your own. Yeah, one more thing I would like to point out that it's not illegal, so no need to worry. Let's see how to do that. First of all, go to web page www.techdig.net slash wp-content slash uploads slash 2014 slash 0 3 slash eicfg dot zip don't worry I have pasted the link in the description hit enter and uh, a file will be downloaded just a 5 or 6 KB oops I guess I have put the wrong link um, oops yeah, wrong slash. Yeah. So here you have downloaded your file. If you are having problem downloading from this link, you may search on Google with keyword EICFG removal utility and you may have the links to download the file. Now close it. Open your download folder. Here you have EICFG. Okay. Don't worry. Copy the file on the desktop. Anyway. So this is your Windows 7 ISO image and this is your EICFG file. This Windows 7 ISO is basically home premium version but I am going to make it a universal disk. So first of all click on EICFG file, here you have folder, click on yeah. and you have some files here. Now click on EICFG remover.exe right here. Uh, they will ask for the permission, hit run. Now select the location where your Windows 7 ISO disk image is located. In my case, uh, it's been located on desktop. So uh, simply I'm clicking on desktop and Windows 7 ISO and here is it, here it is, the ISO file. Simply click on it, click on open and that's it. EI.CFG removed and you have your universal disk image to install any version you want from your simple your uh, iso file that's it